Now, the 10 minute drill. This is a big one. Brought to you by tireoutlet.com. Wholesale prices, premium service. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. All right, gang, we call the uh, 10 minute drill as we both entertain and amaze you with our wits and witticisms about various topics of the sports world. At the end, you're going to get a chance to uh, be the big winner of the segment as we give you the holiday gift guide uh, prize pack. So oh. that's coming up. It's locked and loaded, baby. It feel it was a win that almost feels like a loss because you measure the New Orleans Saints against this Super Bowl, you know, parameter and and their seemingly unstoppable nature for most of the year. But, you know, Dan, this is to two out of the last three games. They've been held to 12 and 10. Do we pump the brakes on New Orleans as – the prohibitive favorite in the NFC? It's hard to say prohibitive because yesterday we were talking about it. And it is hard to say prohibitive, by the way, because I just didn't. In yeah. general, <laughs> correct. Yeah, very, very, but, I noticed that. But uh, uh, it's hard to say prohibitive. However, I do think the Saints are the clear favorite for me in the NFC. And I'll tell you why. I, I gave the numbers. Look at what they've given up the last six games. Nobody's gotten to 20 against them. 17's the most points, and they've got 14s and 10s and 9s. They're playing great defense. And I think that gets lost because their offense is finding its way right now. I, I like that as opposed to, like, the Rams, who have a high-powered offense, but the Eagles hung 30 on them the other night, right? Yeah. So I, I like the Saints in the Dome. I, I, I'm signing up. I'll ride with them. I, again, could they get knocked off? Sure they could, but to me, more so than the AFC, I think the Saints are the best favorite of every team in the NFL to go to the Super Bowl. You know, it, what? What's, How does that sound? I buy. I, I would, you buying or selling? Oh, that's a different game. I, I would still hot take. Sorry, I would put New Orleans in that category of favorite. Still, I would. Uh-huh. I, I, you're right about the defense. I didn't realize that it. it you know, it's almost lifted into like top ten status. Has yes, it? it is. Well, it's scoring defense. It is. I uh, and that's it, what's important. Yeah. That's what you count the points. Yeah. You know, one goes at the end of the game and says, "Well, like, the Saints they gave up twenty, but yeah, they're unfortunately, like seven. those five hundred yards tackled another eight points." St. Louis. No. Um, here's what's interesting about that fact, mm-hmm. and even though it doesn't really come into play because most likely they've got home field throughout and they'll be playing indoors, but if the Saints play defense like that. Get enamored with Drew Brees, his Hall of Fame career, his 80% completion percentage, Michael Thomas and the weapons. But this is a football team that is built then to play quintessential playoff football because nobody can run it like the Saints with Kamara and Ingram. Bar none, the best back that field tandem in football. And now you're going to play defense on top of that? Yeah, that's that's a tough out not just for the NFC but for the whole league. Yeah, I, I, I like the Saints. All right, listen, there are so many. I like Turtles. There are, okay. There are so many different subsets to this Justin Fields transferring story, which, by the way, is not official yet. Is that correct? That's I correct. like turtles. Okay. Thank you. Me, um, me, he's me, just thinking about it. Me too, kid. I was looking at uh, some video of him as he walked off the field after the South Carolina win, which would be week two. Okay? And this is what he was telling uh, one of his teammates. He's walking off the field, and the cameras caught him, and He said, quote, I handed the ball off good as bleep. I didn't do bleep, bro. Yeah. In other words, even then, you could see the frustration. Yeah. He was sold a bill of goods. Obviously, to get Justin Fields to come to Georgia, Kirby Smart and crew fed him a big old bowl of lies. Is it so? Well, how can you? Well, I I don't know. And, and. What a waste of you a season for That game was a blowout. I think that's why he was so upset. Georgia yeah. won 41-17. Yeah. Yeah. So he's you, like, why, why am I not in the game? Right. What, you so have what, to lie to a kid for him to believe that he's getting well, what would you have automatic play. What would you have said to lie? Uh, like, what would the lie be? The lie would be that we're not set at quarterback at all. And just as we proved last year with Jacob Fromm beating out Jacob Eason, yes. if you're the better quarterback, you'll win. Well, he wasn't the better yeah, quarterback, though, Yeah, but you though, think baby. you are. I promise you right now he I thinks know. he is. Well, yeah. I he think, thinks he's better than Jake Fromm. I think, you the, know what? I think in the end he, he may be. The issue here is good luck college coaches with this interminable line of entitled players who feel like as well, freshmen they should be the star let of the me follow. Let me follow this up then with another subset. Does that make you – just realize again uh, how great the goat is in Tuscaloosa. 
he mean? managed he's well, managed he, Hertz and Tua for two years. Yeah, well, how do you do that? I tell you how you do it. You have a true freshman who sits all year, and then you let him win the national title game, and then you ride him the very next I year. Mean, that's and it incredible. Doesn't matter. That's how he did it. But that's, that's the only thing he pulled off was was convincing Jalen Hurts to stay there. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Well, yeah, it is. I mean, I just say, is it, uh, all right, is another subset. If you're Justin Fields, uh, you be know, careful where you go. Is what where I would do you say. go? Do you go First to Oklahoma all, and try to go three for three with Heisman <laughs> trophies? Let me go. Yeah, I do for and sure. And you try to beat do you try to beat Jalen Hurts to the punch? Yes, where I is, do. I where lead. is he going? The problem with Justin Fields is he should have never gone there. What a well, what a what a dumb decision! Why in the world? Well, was it dumb decision or was he lied to? You just said either was, way. I don't care. You yeah. can lie. Listen, Dan, if you if I see the weather forecast uh-huh. and it says it's a high of 27 tomorrow, mm-hmm. you can lie to me all day long and say, wear shorts tomorrow. Everything's going to be great. I'm putting on jeans. Yeah. And so I don't know what they told him to make him believe that a freshman quarterback yeah. who just beat out the best quarterback in the country in yeah. Jacob Eason yeah. and played every game in every second of the national title game, how in the world do you think you're going to come in and take his playing time? Well, does it will it hurt Kirby Smart down the road in recruiting quarterbacks? No. No. Not if George is rolling and the yeah. next guy just means, you know, I'll go there, sure, that Justin Fields cat isn't there anymore. Yeah, I think Justin Fields, by the way, is still gonna be a superstar. Uh he may I, be. I don't know a thing about him. I think he's gonna I, I mean I you know I can't wait to see him. I just hope I don't see him in Tallahassee. <laughs> uh well it, you know, you rather rather Tallahassee than Athens. Yeah. And more likely, look, I like what you say. Has he named sc- I saw the schools were FSU, Oklahoma was. He didn't name them, obviously. They're no, just, but there was one. They were they were being mentioned. Yeah, he may be Florida naming State, them Ohio someone. State. Ohio State. Ohio uh, State would be another good choice. Well, Ohio State has Tate Martell, who was a big time yeah. five star. But who so was from. That's my point. No, I'm saying you said you better be careful where you're going to go. Well, you better. I wouldn't waste my time going there. Then it's clear that Justin Fields isn't going to go anywhere. Where oh my God, there can be someone better. I'm just being, you know. Treated unfairly. No, Jake Fromm's better than you because if he weren't, Danny wouldn't have played all year. Oh, that would be the thought process. Yeah. It's hard to say, you know, but until you play, you you have to grow and get the experience. It, in the end, it was a bad decision by him to go to Georgia. I think. Well, there's just uh, just I, it's a shame for college football because he's a good football player and you want to see the best play. And he could have he would have been playing at probably a hundred other different schools, right? And the only thing I'd, I've said all, all season long, and we all saw this coming, so this is not like anything breaking whatsoever. I mean, we've, I've been saying this since, since midseason. There were opportunities in games where he could have been playing and he wasn't, and that made us all scratch our head. And, and why? Because the bread shirts burned. I mean, so what was the point of that? That's, that's, what, I, uh, that, that's what I don't understand. Um, uh, Dan, your favorite coach of all time. I a mean, a lot of subsets to that question. There's a lot. Of, Dan, Dan did uh, you get the subsets beef? Dan could be a hater. I lost track. A hater toward a lot of different guys. His yes. non favorite guys. Yes. This guy would be your all time hate fest coach guy. You hate this coach more than Ooh. any other. Yeah. Okay. Can Who you name it? your this former NFL coach is your most hated NFL coach of all time? You hate this guy. You hate him. You've always treated him unfairly. You've never <laughs> given him any credit. <laughs> You've quickly banished oh, him. Shanny. Yes, Shanny. Well, Shanny has – I got scars from Shanny at Florida, yeah, so that's not my fault. I, yeah, whatever. So, we used to sit in the stands yeah. as experts, as 19-year-old experts. You guys know what I'm talking about, you youngsters, when you think you know it all. And you do, so roll with it. And we'd sit in the stands, and Shanahan was the offensive coordinator. It's the first time he ever really realized who the play caller was. I can remember distinctly screaming his name with a terrible line of vitriol towards him. Shanahan! What are you doing? So Dan has continued to dog Shanahan through all those Super Bowl wins. Never gave him any and, credit. You know, he, he went to Washington last time. Washington was any good, by the way. It was old Shanahan who yeah. gave him a good season. Yeah. Uh, Killed there, RG3, there's, there's though. There's word filtering uh-huh. that there was a secret meeting between Shanahan and Elway last offseason, like apparently. It. Would uh-huh. it be a good idea? Uh-huh. I know I'm asking the wrong guy. Yeah. But would Shanahan part two in Denver make any sense? And I will say this. Not quite as old as you think. He's only 66. Yeah. I would have thought he was a little older than that. Uh, yeah, Shanahan Part 2 would make a great bit of sense in Denver if it was Kyle Shanahan. <laughs> I'm not so sure about dusting, dusting the dirt off old Mike, the dust, you know? Uh, uh, I don't know. Why not? I mean, he look, he's a good coach. He, um, 
to me, he's, um, uh, you know, he's kind of a Hall of Famer, right? Going to be? Well, he's don't you have to be with two Super Bowls or he's no? Kind of Coughlin esque, right? Say in terms of uh, his career, pretty similar. You know, a couple of bad years at the end, but I overall, I think Tom did better with two franchises than Shanny did. I mean, he only got one playoff game in Washington. Don't get carried away. Six and ten, five and eleven, ten and six, and then three and thirteen. He was four years. I thought it was just three. Yeah. Uh, so he he bottomed right. out. Yeah, didn't do. Um, and I do believe, you know, obviously in Denver when you have you know Mr. Zelway and Davis, not one Jeff, but two Hall of Famers in the same backfield. Uh, you know, he that's won those, Vince he Dooley, won those two Super Bowls in the red in the Denver turnaround. and went six and ten. I guess that was probably the first year without Elway. Yeah, but then he revamped without Elway. Won eleven, eight, he nine, a lot. 10, 10, 13. He didn't do much in the postseason, but he grabbed a lot of uh, you know Jake Plummers and and Bubby Bristers and those kinds of guys and got the most out of them. I yeah. guess uh, his Denver record is really good. One thirty eight and eighty six. Uh, that's a six sixteen winning. For, it's the yeah. Washington, not so much. And the Washington was his last go round. So. Um, you know, he caught RG three in a bottle his rookie year. Then he got RG three hurt and mm-hmm. went three and thirteen the next year. And bye bye. Listen, uh, speaking of college quarterbacks transferring, uh, message board fodder, rumor, rumor central. Uh, don't know if it's true or not, but uh, maybe DeAndre Francois leaving FSU. Now, would he be a graduate transfer? Could he play right away? That's a good question. I don't if know. Not, I don't, DeAndre. I don't know what you're thinking. I would think. I would think yes. Anybody knocking way, down the door for DeAndre Francois if they've got to wait a year? No. And by the way, uh, uh, Fields they say is going to apply for some waiver and is expected to be able to not have to sit out. I, that, I have that, no idea why. What, is it the liar waiver? I don't know. It must, I got lied to, so I'm, I'm eligible. If that's the case, then the NCAA better prepare for just the flurry I of liar yeah. waivers they're going to get applied I, I, I for. I can't imagine that either. But A they, hardship waiver. Yeah, for what? Why, yeah. yeah, why would he be yeah, going to uh, That's uh, what... I'll tell you what. His feelings are very hurt that he didn't get <laughs> to Trevon Grimes was able to receive. Okay. And Van Jefferson was oh, a different category. Well, then Trevon ha- Grimes was able to receive that because his mom was sick and all that stuff. Now, okay. I'm, I'm sure the, the deal is going to be... You know, Another news, not the SEC. In other news, Justin Fields has poisoned his mother. No, I'm teasing. I'm wouldn't, probably not a good joke. Oh, yeah. uh, where is he from? Pennsylvania? Who? Fields. He's from Georgia. No, Georgia. He's from Georgia? Yeah. How did he get up to Pennsylvania? He committed to them Well, early. I got news for Justin. The hardship rule is that was applied means you go back home to be with sick family. You're I don't in know. Georgia. I'm just saying that. This could be a big win for Georgia Tech. But I would assume that. Uh, what about GA Tech, Dan? No. Get him over there. No. I would assume what? that. Um, Kerwin's would, on the phone. I would assume that if Francois were to leave, he would be eligible immediately. Francois? But does that make any sense at all of DeAndre Francois perhaps transferring? Um, Francois yeah, did, and Jalen Hurts both just graduated. Are, are you December. kidding me? They did? Yep. Well, there you go. Huh? Jalen, what now? Francois and Jalen Hurts both just graduated this December. Yeah. So they can both transfer. And remember, for uh, Blackman uh, why took Why would Francois leave? I'll tell you why he left. He was running a, a car race last year, uh-huh. and his freaking coach gave him a pinto every week uh-huh. and told him, just take a right turn off the cliff. Oh, boy. That offense would put a, a, oh, a, an insomniac to sleep. Oh, no. Terrible. What did FSU end up total offense, by the way? Did we give the proper burial to oh, the yeah, they were to the terrible. Willie Taggart uh, yeah, premier awful. season? They were awful. Who made Will Muschamp look like a frigging, you know, fun and gun genius? Yes, we did give the proper burial. What did they finish? 117, something like that, or no? It was uh, it was bad. There's a lot of different stats that are not good with FSU. Did they penalties. ever, by the way, we had the same conversation now a week ago. Have they signed an offensive coordinator yet, Dan Hicken? Oh, they have not. They plan on getting one of those before signing the day. The word is they're going to wait till after signing day. Um, and then unleash fields on their fan base? Unleash the backlash. I mean, Bryles? The backlash that will be coming. 102nd yeah. of total offense. I think Florida has been worse than that in the past few oh, yeah. years, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. But not this year. Not this year. No, not this year. All right. Um, that's the 10-minute drill. That's it. I like Dan, it. you want to give them a number that they can collect uh, this today's holiday gift guide prize pack? Yeah, and it's a heck of a prize pack. Beef, do you want to run it down real quick? Uh, yeah, it's uh, part of the holiday gift guide. Last-minute shopping options for you. Check it out at 1010XL.com. Today's winner is going to get a uh, player's gift pack. That comes with a pair of tickets for Tuesday's practice round coming up in March, okay. as well as a player's scarf. They'll also get a scarf. gift Need certificate. A scarf. Wish I had a scarf today. Uh, good for 60-minute massage session at Would Massage scarf Envy. scarf down some food. I like a scarf. And a gift certificate from Wingstop. Good for 50 wings with two sides. 50. Scarf and wings, buddy. Scarf and wings. You can wear your scarf, but don't get messy with the wings. 
You could always use the scarf to wipe your face. Like you a napkin. To, you just, could. You know, uh, could. Real quick, by the way, the hardship waiver would be going back to the racist comment that a baseball player made. With fields. That's what uh, someone tweeted. That's me, what they so. said? Okay. Thanks for tweeting uh, I don't know if that's hardship. All Holy right, caller number five. Four. Let's do caller number five in honor of Mr. Ten. 